Hey guys, what's going on? Tony here, CCXRC on the bench. We've got another RC for you to unbox here. It's a WL Toys 12428C. Now this is a very popular model and uh, the 12428, you see a lot of the green and black ones. This is just a different variation of that same vehicle with a different type of body styling. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this right after the break. All right guys, so when you're looking at the box, what we see right away is that it's a 12th scale vehicle. It's 50 max kilometers an hour and it's four wheel drive. They say it's for off-road, mountainous, rocky, and desert. And so it can pretty much go anywhere. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. All right, guys, so here's everything that comes inside of the package. We'll quickly go through and look at them. First off, we're going to have our charger, which is EU, but it does have the US adapter, which I just lost on the floor. And it's a balanced lead charger. So these are like a trickle charge. It takes a good while to charge these batteries using that. And so it does come with two tools. You've got a little screwdriver here and then a little wheel nut wrench here that comes with a lot of vehicles and our instruction manual, which again, WL Toys does a great job with these manuals from the exploded views for working on them to uh, tips for how to run these vehicles. Lots of great stuff in here. And so you'll want to hold on to that because if you need spare parts, that's one good thing about these WL Toys is there are parts for them. Quick look at the controller that it comes with. And so it's an upgrade off of the little 18th scale. Still takes four AA batteries. Instead of the little uh, buttons that you have to click on, it does have stool, uh, steering, <laughs> stool. It does have steering trim and throttle dual rates here on the bottom. And uh, it's got a different mode button here, which I don't know the functions for this car. Probably doesn't have a function because there's no lights or anything like that. But it does have a little foam grip and these can be driven one-handed which is really great because the wheel is placed so far back which i do really like all right so a quick look at the car and like all of these one two four two eights i'm only going to go so far to show you what is inside because it is not easy to get in here to be able to view everything because you have to take off body panels. And so a lot of these are the same and they have the same components in them. And so we'll be, you know, kind of talking through some of that, uh, but we're not gonna go into too much detail there. Your battery just clicks in here. There's a little C clip that you gotta pull off, which is on there real good. So I use my little screwdriver to help pry it off. Here is our battery, it is a 7.4 volt 1500 milliamp hour lipo battery uh, these are just friction shocks here the thing to point out is that these are solid axle in the rear and then they're independent suspension in the front here so you can see it's using a arms we've got metal in here drive shafts with a dog bone to a cvd on the the wheel side uh, all plastic components in here for your steering linkages um, you do have a metal drive shaft, which you can't really see in there very well, again, because of the way that these are designed. But you could believe me that inside of there is a metal uh, drive shaft that comes from your motor and your gearbox to the front here. The one in the rear is plastic, and it's a telescoping one. Um, got this cool little driver. I like the decals and everything on this. It says it's fast, victorious. Uh, I like just the stylings overall of this. Uh, what I don't like about these stylings is the way that they build this cage and there's no way to pop a few pins and have it open up and get to your motor and all that, which requires taking down quite a few of these panels to get in there. It is running a 540 motor. Some of this stuff we could peel back in here and you can see the motor. The motor's tucked right here, you can see it. It's a 540 can. It's got the uh, the servo is mounted right up under this wheel here in the front, and then you've got your uh, receiver boxes and your ESC mounted back up in this way a little bit more. But you can't get to it because of the way that it's laid out, which is kind of the annoyance for me. But the on-off switch is on the bottom. You can see the chassis here and how this is built out. Got a little metal plate here to help protect this front end with the impacts. These are bouncy, 
when you get them with that friction shock. I think it's a lot of fun to drive that way, but um, some people go and switch them out. You, there are um, other shocks that are available for this, and so people will buy those in order to, to make it a smoother ride and make it a better crawler. This can be upgraded to be a really cool uh, rig that is much more hobby grade than it is. Um, very much a twin hammers clone, like most of these are. Uh, and so a lot of those things, I guess, are interchangeable. I don't know. I've never had the twin hammers, but I hear that it has the same kind of issues with getting into the internals that would drive me absolutely crazy. <laughs> but these are durable. They're a lot of fun to run, and you really can't go wrong with them. So uh, it's just another really good WL Toys car, and we'll get it out for you guys. We'll do some uh, bashing with it and do some speed runs, things like that, to let you know what the top speed we get with it are out of the box. And so be looking for that video coming soon. This again was sent to us from RC Moment uh, to do this review for you guys. And uh, we'll take a look here actually before we go. The wheels actually feel really good on this. Um, they're a little bit hard, so they're, they're decent tires. I mean, you can always upgrade them uh, as you want to perform it, it to perform better. So um, yeah, that's a quick look at it, guys. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Do you have one of these? Uh, what upgrades did you do to it? Let us know in the comments. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the little bell next to it, it'll uh, alert you when we post new videos. And you can be the first ones to come in and see the new stuff. Because we've got some exciting new content coming with custom builds and things like that. So thanks for tuning in. Have fun RCing, guys. We'll catch you next time.